All right, so I cut the last video a little short because it was already 10 minutes and I was only halfway done with the stuff I wanted to talk about. So I'm going to separate the video into this is the second half. And now I'm going to talk about the CT side. Pre like I talked about the T side and how the five players fit in to a T side execute where you've got the entry, the follow-up, the middleman, the support, and the lurk. And then the support um, is interchangeable with the primary opper. Because not every team has a strict support. Not every team has a strict lurk. But we will. We will probably have no support and then a, a lurker and a primary opper. So we're going to be a little light in the support heavy. But anyway, so but on CT side, it's a little different. You want two carries. Um, what should I say? Yeah. Two carries, so one for each site. And then you want um, two rotators, one for each site, and then a support. And, um, or I guess you would say, like, rather than the support you would say the like um, like a kind of playmaker so it's sort of like a wild card like a JW player um, actually that's that's probably the best example JW or a fur um, for an SK anybody else I want to talk about shocks is like that CT side dust 2 comes in hand comes in mind um, playing around the mid doors. Anyway, so on cash, what that means, you want to have uh, an ink like a, a carry on A and a carry on B. Um, currently, what what we've been doing is we've had me kind of play the carry player, or I guess it would be O Town rather. O Town more play, playing the carry player on B, and then I was playing the rotator. I don't like that. I'm going to change it. Uh, B, uh, point. I want you to play B. I was thinking of having Bushy do it, uh, but Bushy ops a lot more, and it's better to have ops mid and A than B. So, point your um, your move to B. You're going to be the B anchor. I expect um, lots of kills. And O Town will be your rotator. So if, if we do uh, three mid, O-Town will be going mid. If we do three A, um, O-Town will be going A. And then and uh, point will be point will be staying. But also if we're like pushing, uh, O-Town will be going first, and then point you can follow him or you can get boosted in the vent and that kind of, all that kind of stuff. So if if we're boosting vent, you're probably going to boost O-Town. Uh, and then point, you're going to go back to site, that kind of thing. As for mid, Savage stays mid. The wild card, the dude with the swag seven, bottom mid, or this fucking spot, or this fucking spot with a mag or a sawed off. Oh, that'd be hilarious if you just dropped your AK. Like, you waited for the smoke to fade and you dropped your AK. Anyway. If anyone does that in a pug, I will make a video of it. Anyway. What else? So, yeah, Savage will be pushing mid. And then I will be the A rotator. So I will be taking point spot. Um, if this doesn't work, O Town and I can switch spots. Uh, but I have a feeling O Town likes B. Um, at least. O Town, you've told me that you like to be before, so I'm assuming you still like B. Um, also, there's a lot of nades uh, to throw, and I know all of them. At least I know I know all the ones I know of for middle. Um, and then Bushy will be holding, being the A anchor. And that means if we're doing three B, I'm the rotator, so I will be going B. And then Savage will be middle vent area. I will be I will be the one helping Savage get into the vent 
when he's pushing it. Um, I will be helping. I will be uh, pushing A uh, with with Bushy when we decide to push A. That kind of thing. So the 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 goal is going to be is to get get Bushy and point as many kills as possible, and then a, and then probably half the time Savage is going to have big games because when you're playing mid, it's harder to have really big games on CT side because you're you're either smoked off half the time, or you just never see, or they just you you push mid. And then you hear them running A, and you tell your team they're running A. And then either you flank, and maybe you get one kill, because it's going to be a late flank, or you rotate through, and maybe you get a kill in a bomb plant. So you're not going to have many, like, 4Ks. Whereas if you're playing A or B, there's there's more chances for 4Ks. Um, but it's also easier just to die without getting any kills. So that's the, that's the trade-off. Uh, playing a rotator type position versus a site position and I think point and bushy I think you guys are particularly good at playing the site positions just holding and getting lots of kills and hopefully O-Town can help point do that by distracting and hopefully I can help um, bushy with like utility and watching his back if he's opping and that kind of thing so I think um, Yeah, on, on CT, we're going to be doing more defaults uh, than pushing because I think actually we have a good, uh, a good balance of personnel for just kind of holding. And then um, we're, not, we're not amazing at retaking because as I, as, as I talked about in the T-side video, we, um, we're not very good at that first, at, at, at well, like getting the first couple of kills into the site and retaking is all about getting those first couple of kills into the site because there is there is no post plant after you retake. It's just defuse the bomb. I guess you could take the site and then maybe there's one A main and then so you need to like push A main in order and kill him in order to get the defuse. So I guess that's kind of that's like the closest thing to a post plant as a CT, like uh, retake the site and then like, I don't know what you would fucking call it. It doesn't need a word, it doesn't need a word. What else? A lot of defaults. If we push shit, it's gonna be more for information than for kills. So if we push a main rather than just a pop flash and shooting, it's gonna be more like throwing these you this utility and then a pop flash so like we'll kill anyone if they're there, but we're mostly trying to push them back. Like our main objective is to just get the, like shrink the map. So we trade the 20 seconds it takes to push close and then fall back. We trade that time for um, shrinking the map. So after we've, um, so if we do that right at the beginning of the round, maybe we find ourselves at a minute 20 and now we know that they're not A mains, then we can, we can have more people on other parts of the site. So um, when we're pushing, like when we're pushing checkered, it will often be um, just so that we, um, what would be, oh, find and click. I'm trying to think what the equivalent of A would be. So, you know, everyone throws throws this smoke and then you push into checkers. And that's mostly just to survive and does not get rushed on. But I guess, um, I guess often if we're going to throw this smoke, right, we're going to be throwing that. Like maybe I should work out a molly that you can throw. All right, so if you're here... You mean there? Is that a good molly? There. This is a little impromptu bit. So let's say you throw. So this smoke is up. Can you see that? No, not really. You throw there and then like there, I guess. That's a decent molly. 
So anyway, that can that can molly this bit right here. So they can only be box far left or far right. And that, that smoke missed, of course, because I suck. Is that one better? Yeah, that one's better. Anyway, so if you're going to push B, you'll push into sunroom, and then point will just stay sunroom. And that way, well, either point can push into, like, useless or into T-spawn even. And then um, O-Town can rotate like all the way to Z. So what you do is you trade more like 40 seconds, really, if you're pushing B, because it takes much more time to like throw the utility and then listen, then throw more utility, push up, and then, you know, it's it's a longer rotate. So you're, you're trading more like a minute, just so that it's, they don't, uh, just so that you can shrink this, the map into just mid and A. Um, but you you get more, you get more benefit as a result. So I've jabbered on enough. This video was shorter than the other one, luckily for you guys. But um, so I'm happy about that. And uh, I think our CT side is going to be a little bit more consistent than our T side. Because uh, um, uh, we're, we're, we're more just hold the site tight. Uh, type of a CT side, which means I want to get eight rounds every half. I want to get, like, even if we lose pistol in the first gun round, I still want to get six rounds. Like, if we get five rounds on a CT side, like, I'm not going to be happy. Like, we're going to need to come up really big on our, on our T side, which can happen. Like I said in the other video, our T side is going to be very volatile. We're going to have a high ceiling depending on, um, like if I get an entry and then O-Town gets two entries, on a, on a big, like O-Town can get two entries um, on any round. He can get one entry on, it, on uh, any round. It's going to be more hit or miss if I hit one or if O-Town hits uh, two or if O-Town hits three or if O-Town hits one and then Savage hits two, like that kind of thing. Like if we get kills early, we'll win. But if we don't get kills early, uh, we'll just, we'll probably lose. Like uh, maybe if O-Town and I die and then Savage gets like a crazy 3K, it'll like pull us back in the round. But barring that, like I, I don't think, um, like Point and Bushy aren't gonna be winning uh, 1v4s without the bomb plant. Like they can win a 1v4 if the bomb is planted, but if the bomb's not, if we can't even get into the site, it's a totally different, uh, it's a totally different beast. So that's why you guys are in last, uh, and hopefully we can, uh, we can help you out enough. I know I'm talking about a T side concept in a CT side video. I am aware of the, I don't know what you would even call that, error, just a simple word for it, I guess. Um, I'm aware of the error, but T side is going to be way more interesting than our CT side. Eh, it's a decent ending. <laughs>